Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with another Legend of Korra reaction. We are on Season 3, Episode 5 and 6. Uh, apologies for missing uh, Monday's upload, but we're back for uh, for Wednesday and hopefully Friday. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. Chapter 5, The Metal Clan. Okay, I'm gonna see some more metal benders. Four of the most <laughs> dangerous criminals in the world are hunting you down. We should get moving. Relax, we just got here. I think she wants you to throw <laughs> it for her. <laughs> I'll pass, thanks. We just got a call Come on the on. radio about another airbender. Zaofu, the home of the metal clan. Zaofu. You know the place? Uh, never been, but I don't want you going there. I'd rest a lot easier if you were back safe hmm. in Republic City. Why does she not want to go there? <laughs> wow. Oh. What? Okay, screw you. Whoa. That wow, looks wow. crazy. The entire city made of metal. <laughs> you should be right at home, Bayfong. What's there to see? It's metal. Big whoop. Just find the airbender mm. and let's get moving. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Right this way. Mm. Yeah, I wonder what the issue is here. He's a new airbender too, like you guys. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. How exciting. New friends. My name is Yoru. I heard this was the place to come if you're a new airbender. You got that right, stranger. Mom! Ooh. I'm Kaya! I got another one! That guy seems sus. Yeah, the fact he has like control over it so quickly seems a bit strange. That statue honors the first metal bender. Toph hey, Toph. Who expanded the possibilities of what benders were capable of. <laughs> Are we gonna see Toph? Come on. We still haven't seen adult Toph, right? Does Toph think. live here? Are we gonna get to meet her? I'm afraid oh. not. She used to visit from time to time, but years ago she left to wander the world in search of enlightenment. No one has seen her since. Oh, what? Okay, that's weird. Maybe they'll find her then. I hope that's the case. Hmm, so it's like a really rich person's kid. It's interesting. Allow me to introduce the matriarch of the Metal Clan, Su Yin. Please call me Su. Cora, why did you lie when Ai Wei asked if there was anyone else with you? What? Lin's here. I would love to say hello. <laughs> Wait, you two know each other? You're joking, right? Lynn never told you about me. Are they going to be sisters? No, I'm Lynn's sister. Oh my god. No way. Okay. Weird. Half sister. Same mom, different oh. dads. So oh, okay. I have nothing Interesting. Okay, so I still don't know who was her father. You two haven't spoken in 30 years? How come? Oh, 30 years is crazy. You're the one who tore our family apart. And you've done a bang-up job keeping it that way. Lynn, your niece is the new airbender. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, terrific. <laughs> that is crazy, guys. Ang 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 would be so, pa I'm so pumped about that. <laughs> Jeez, nice. It's like air hockey. Represents the dawning of a new age. Obviously. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I could, I could artist. totally see that. I could, well, let me stand here. Yes, I could see that now. Yes, thank you. Well, Opal. Avatar Korra, I can't believe you're really here. It's great to meet you, Opal. Opal, that's a beautiful name. Thanks. I'm Bolin. Opal, but uh, you already knew that. <laughs> Is that the same voice actor as Toph? I've always wanted to meet you. <laughs> My mom has told me so many stories about you. I'm sure she has. Well, it, it does sound like Toph's voice oh, actor, kind of. I think it's I the same. She could I'll look it up the after. The airbenders at the Northern Temple. She's just a little worried because there were a bunch of crazy criminals after me. If you're concerned <laughs> about security, don't be. This wow, you're a natural. You call yourself an airbender? Disgraceful! <laughs> But I don't know what that means. Yeah, who's okay, this guy? Is yeah. Hmm. Great news! I just got a message from Tenzin. He's with a whole group of other Airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. And the Avatar is with them? No, apparently she had to split off from Tenzin. I was really looking forward to meeting her. Hmm. That's not um. 
Is that here, right? With the shaved head? I don't think that's to here. Maybe it is, though. He's definitely sus, though. He's got, like, scars all over his head and stuff. Some sort of, some type of warrior, probably. No, no, my children are a blessing. Yeah, mom used to say that, too, but she never meant it. Ooh, okay. She thinks she can just do whatever she wants. Sounds familiar. What? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about what's really bugging you, because I'm right here. Sorry we're late, I guess everyone. not. <gasps> Varric! Sorry. Oh, yeah, it is Varric. Need... Okay. What are any of us doing? Oh, my God, Varric. <sighs> Food for thought. <laughs> Anywho, how's our company doing? Magnets. I'm working on a high-speed rail mm. that'll revolutionize transportation and shipping okay. as we know it. But that's not That's all. a real thing. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've read enough. about magnetic keep the avatar safe. trains or something. Criminal? You and Opal seem to hit it off at dinner. Too bad she's not my type. Psycho Ice Princess. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right, bro. Oh my god, is he gonna pull a date, Mike? It'd be all weird you know, now. Before I built this city, there was nothing here. What happened with you two? Okay. It's complicated. Neither of us knew our fathers, and Toph was always busy being chief of hmm. police. Because Mom grew up in such a strict house, she gave us all the freedom in the world, hoping we'd that, figure that out tracks, our own yeah, paths. That tracks, yeah. That sounds like a good thing. Lynn followed in her footsteps and became a cop. I was more of a rebel. Let me pause that for a second. So they don't near them know their fathers. That's interesting. I wonder why that would be. Yeah, hopefully I found, found that out. I'm trying to think. I know there was a bunch of people that like wanted Toph to to like get with um with Sokka, right? I think that was like a a, a thing that was a uh, people talked about in Avatar. So maybe no, that doesn't really make sense though, does it? I don't think it does. Well, I think it's confirmed that Toph isn't dead, right? So she just she's missing is basically what they said. So hopefully we do get to see her. This will f hopefully yeah maybe maybe that's why season three gets a good, good gets a really good rap because Toph uh, shows up. But I know she's like a obviously I think she was. Probably my first or second favorite character, if if I remember my ranking. So, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. Let's keep going though. Me away oh with my you. god! Literally, literally date and make a situation from the office. <laughs> and he's just super weird. weird. Why are you acting weird? I just get really self conscious when I know a girl likes me, and I you <laughs> said I liked you. Oh no, Mo said. <laughs> Just kidding. You're so dumb. But do me a favor and stop trying. There you go. Myself. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could give that a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hey, Cora. <laughs> Balloon's face looks so Balloon dumb. Like... Oh, here's okay, this kid. What is this guy's deal? This isn't Zaheer, right? He looks too young to be Zaheer, but maybe it. Maybe he just. Hmm. Let go your earthly tether. Enter the void. Empty and become wind. A poem by Gulahima. Oh, okay. Gulahima. Is that Zaheer then? No. Mickey. That might. I think that is Zaheer. You seem to know a lot about airbender history for someone who just got airbending. Zaheer. Oh, it is Zaheer. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. He looked pretty young with the, with the bald hair, but. The bald head, but. Nice, nice. Oh. Jesus. Oh shit. Sorry I won't be joining you at the Northern Air Temple. I'm afraid I have other plans. Alright. This he didn't kill her. I was thinking he might kill her there. Jeez. Sort sorta of got that that was a year. Maybe a bit, bit late, but brought someone who wants to talk to you. <laughs> when you showed up. I was so excited to get to know you. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. Yeah, she didn't do anything to you. Believe me, I know my family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes. Get out. That's Sorry. crazy. Did I say something wrong? Get out. Jeez. What's your problem? Don't get mad at Ope. Sue's right. You're never going to change. You're always going to be a bitter, lonely woman. Jeez, yeah, what is her deal? I feel like we're missing a part of the story. Hmm. 
crazy. Okay, that that went by really fast. Holy. All right. I don't really have much. I think this seems like it was a part one or part two almost. I feel like the episode. Yeah. So we're just going to hop in the next one. Um, all right. Chapter six. Old wounds. All right. Definitely getting some Lynn backstory here then. Since I can't metal bend. Really? Lynn never offered to train you? Nope. Equalist. Yeah, I, I didn't even. Busy few months. I didn't think about that either. Oh, probably for the best. I'm sure Lynn would be a horrible teacher. <laughs> okay, that was a little insight into uh, her sister's personality there. Maybe, yeah, maybe she isn't as nice as she seems. That was like a weird shot at her. Really? That would be great. I was like reading that, but that was a you weird thing. You should try it too. What the... Wouldn't the whole room, or like, wouldn't he get attached to the room, maybe? Because it's all metal. Hmm. Okay, what is she How many about to do? Did you do last night? Because I did like 50. <laughs> what do you two think you're doing? Get back to work! Doesn't take a truth seer to know that hmm. you are under a dangerous amount of stress. I know a great acupuncturist in town who will be able to help you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. The double hmm. Ooh, okay, we might get some spirit stuff. Seems like you made quite a stir on Air Temple Island. Hmm, I guess not really. But... Cops are swarming the city looking for us. We leave today. Okay. How many of those things are you gonna stick in me? I'll be placing several needles on each of your acute points. Oh, here we go. Okay. We need to see adult off. You almost look like a real cop. You're supposed to be in school. Where'd you get all that stuff? I fell off the back of a truck. Sue, stop. Get your hands off of me. You have so much potential. You're ruining your life. Hmm. A lot of earth in them too, I guess, right? Sort of, I think. That's amazing. Volin? Is that you? <laughs> he wants to learn to. No! What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hey ladies. I was just uh I was just looking for Pavu. He's on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there you are. You know, I thought something was chewing on my ear. I'm probably gonna need to get a shot. Anyway, so what are you <laughs> guys doing? Metal bending over here or something? Wanna give it a shot? No, nah, it's okay. You know, well, he doesn't want to fail this, at it, that's why. Yeah. Watch. Nice. I'm metal bending. Calling all units. Robbery reported on the corner of Fifth and Harbor. Okay, this is gonna be your sister. Here's gonna come in. All right, we got Rose joining the reaction for a bit. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Let's get back. I don't think she can I fit her in. I guess I can do that, but no, nah, my mic, my mic won't reach that far if I sit like that. All right. Okay. Whoa. What did you do to me? I tried to warn you and breathe. I'm not letting you get away with this. Oh, what are you going to do, officer? Arrest me? Oh, okay. The scar is from... Okay, that's crazy. That explains a lot. Hmm, how's this gonna go? That's not good. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez, okay. That was too easy. Oh my god, Dolan. <laughs> He's so funny. Just thinking about my body and mustaches that I might have in the future. <laughs> what? You're acting weird again. Just thinking Sorry. about my body and mustaches I may have in the future. 
my mustaches. I'm, I'm just, I'm just frustrated. I mean, I've been wanting to metal bend ever since I heard about Toph. My mom grew mm -hmm. up learning from Toph. Just go train with her. Stop being so scared. <laughs> Look at us <laughs> talking about our feelings. <laughs> it's nice. All right, get some more stories here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Is it tough? What were you? Thinking? Let's go tough. And what were you thinking? You two have put me in an impossible position. Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. Mom, what are you doing? You can't cover this up. There were witnesses. And Sue gets to do whatever she wants, and there are no consequences. That's it? I don't need to rest. Hmm. I need to do something I should have done a long time ago. Is that a po apologize? Or maybe she re she's realizing her mom's to blame, not her sister? You're the first metal bending avatar. I think that's what they're going for. Let's see, though. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you have a waiting list or something, like a couple years, so... <laughs> oh, what's she gonna do? I think she's gonna hug her. She's gonna hug her. It's time we talk. <laughs> She's like sweating and all huffing and puffing. That's crazy. She was so guilt ridden about what she did to protect you. She didn't feel worthy of her badge. Oh, but I admit mom and I already talked about this years ago and worked things out. If you had gotten together with us like we'd asked, you would know that I'm a different person now. Maybe you can fool everyone else, but you can't. Fool okay, me. I did not read I've that at right all. You. You're still a bitter loner who only cares about herself. No wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I guess this is how it's going to be. That is crazy. I'm almost kind of with um with Lynn. Like, I've, there's been a couple things that Sue has said that have been really um like you. you everyone knows someone like that. They throw like little jabs at people all the time. In like a nice, it's it sounds nice, but they're actually like really mean. So. I'm kind of seeing Lynn's, uh, Lynn's point of view a bit more. This is crazy. That was a crazy thing to say just now. Let's go metal bending battle. Should I stop them? You don't have any siblings. <laughs> Fighting is all part of the healing process. <laughs> My sculpture! <laughs> Actually, it looks yeah. kind of I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Ooh, that would hurt God. Ooh. What are you two doing? Oh. Whoa. Who's gonna knock? <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 not me. I can, <laughs> but I just thought that you... I'll do it. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be like... <laughs> It's a mixture of kale, coconut water, and walnuts. Mm. I'm sure some of you have probably made that after watching this. I wonder if it's something good. Not bad. Probably not something I'd enjoy, but... Opal, don't go. Apologize, please. I wanted to say I'm sorry about the other night. You're a smart young woman and an excellent airbender. I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for you to train with the other airbenders at the Northern Air Temple. All I wanted to do was please my mother. I became a police chief because I thought it would make her happy. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Mm hmm. Good advice. <laughs> Hopefully Sue doesn't blame Lynn Mom, for Opal Dad, leaving. Can I talk to you? Opal has decided to go to the Northern Air Temple. I'm guessing you had something to do with her decision. <laughs> well, I was just... It's okay. Mom gave us too much freedom. But I feel like I've made the mistake of giving Opal too little. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time when we were younger. You'd probably be in prison. <laughs> You're probably right. I know Mom is proud. Can we move on? I do need a co-director for my new dance performance. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> How about for now? I just promise not to show up at your house and attack you again. Deal. <laughs> Bring it in. All right, so where are these two? Or this, these four headed? Those cops. Maybe they know something about where the avatar is hiding. She's with the Metal Clan. How could he figure that out? 
Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, so first off, before we talk about the episode, I want to check out the uh, Toffs, or not Toff, um, uh, Opal voice actress, Allison Stoner. Is that the same person? I don't think it is. Let's see, though. Let me, let me confirm that. No, okay, so it's not the same person as, uh, as Avatar, or as Toff was. Damn, okay, I, th I thought I had that right, but I guess not. Allison, she looks, what is she from? I've seen, I've seen her and stuff before. Camp Rock. <laughs> she was in Camp Rock. That's amazing. What a throwback. Okay. Okay, anyway, so it wasn't the same voice actor as Toph. I kind of thought it was, but I guess not. Maybe she was going for a similar thing. But yeah, so that was... Um, hmm. Yeah, so where do we start? There? I, I, I don't even know where to start. All right. Yeah, so I d definitely was not expecting that, ep that those two episodes to be like a lot of backstory for um, for Lynn and like Toph's kids, I guess. Grandkids, everything. I'm um, really interesting though. I, I love anytime there's like stuff uh, involving the original gang. It's awesome to see. I'm a little um, curious. Like I'm still. I mean, I'm obviously extremely curious to know what, what's what's going on with Toph because they basically said she's just missing, which implies she is alive. I don't think they would have killed her off screen. So, hoping we see her this season. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know why we wouldn't see her this season if, if they're, they're heavily hinting at it. They're de de dedicated two episodes entirely to, um, like, Toph's family, and now we have an airbender that's, like, Toph's uh, niece. Or, yeah, niece? Toph's granddaughter. It's Toph's granddaughter, yeah. So Toph's granddaughter is now an airbender. So they're definitely, yeah, they're definitely hinting at that. And then they, they also mentioned that uh, Toph had kids with multiple men, and neither, neither uh, none of the... None of the sisters knew their father, so that is very confusing to me. I don't know if that's meant to be a hint at the fathers being, like, people we know from Avatar, or if it's just, they're just, like, random people she, like, met that like, as an adult. I don't know. Um, but yeah, very curious to know, learn more about that. I hope there's just, yeah, stuff like that I hope we learn about. Um, yeah, anything that adds on to the original gang is, like, I'm a big fan of, so... Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, and then, yes, Zaheer. Zaheer, like, infiltrated the the airbenders. Um, yeah, I, I like, he, he definitely seemed sus. He did, he did not look the same to me at all as, as like, a bald guy so, or a shaved head guy, so I didn't pick on that, pick up on that right away. But, yeah, as soon as he started talking about the, uh, oh, what's the name of the, the, the legendary airbender? The, like, wise airbender um, with the awesome quotes. As soon as he started talking about that, it was, yeah, that's the here. Um, and then he somehow realized where uh, Korra is just by, like, meditating. Um, so maybe, is he, like, that powerful where he can, like, can he, like, listen to the wind and, like, hear stuff through the wind, maybe? And that's how? I don't know, maybe, maybe that might be, like, yeah, that, that actually that would make sense as like one of the like the sub bending things. Like he's an airbender that has the ability of like yeah, like listening to to the to the air to hear to hear almost like to hear over long distances. That would make sense. I don't know what you would call that, but like ear bending or something, something like that sounds stupid. Ear bending. Uh, I don't know, but I think that that seems. I think that's what they're hinting. At. I don't know how else he'd be able to do that. Because like you can't like yeah I don't know I'll go with that we'll go with some sort of sub bending thing that allows him to like hear over long distances via the air I think that yeah that would that would that makes sense a little bit um yeah yeah did I, did I miss anything else um, I guess Bowen may be able to metal bend um, which would be cool uh, if any of the air, if any of the earth benders can he definitely he would be one in a hundred just like just like Cora was because he is yeah he's obviously yeah um yeah I don't, did i miss anything no i think that that's about it the episode yeah it was a pretty yeah it was good good, good to learn about that stuff didn't really advance the plot too much i guess but still six episodes left in, in season uh three here i think six episodes maybe it's maybe it's a bit more i think i think it's 12 but um yeah so we will be back on friday with another two episodes yeah i might not be able to get them up for monday again i'm gonna have a really busy weekend so we'll see how that goes but i'll try to get yeah episodes episode uh seven eight will be out for friday and then it might be wednesday again for the next two after that um yeah yeah i kind of i was just lazy this weekend but next weekend i'm actually gonna be super busy so i probably won't be able to get uh 
the stuff edited for Monday, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. Yeah, let's wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts below. Um, and yeah, let me know well, once we're done, Cora, let me know a show you want me to check out. Um, like, a, like an animated show, anime or like whatever you, a cartoon like you call. Yeah, you call this a cartoon. Um, yeah, there's a few I've been looking at that I have some interest in, but let me know like what's what the, what the best show to react to, I guess. I think Invincible is one I've heard is really good. I think there might be a season two coming out. So maybe that's what we do next. But yeah, let me know if you have any ideas. Just post them in the comments and I'll check them out uh, down the line. Um, all right, let's wrap up there. Thanks for watching.